you're to blame, bro. Take blame for every mistake that you make in life because there's going to be a point where you realize that you have nobody on your side. And a lot of people try to avoid that reality, but it takes a certain amount of experiences for you to truly comprehend the concept that everything that you do is actually a solo act. And people will only come aside you when they see that there's potential for success. Now, the location to which the person will add themselves to you can vary from person to person. But anybody who adds to your purpose or your dream sees potential for success. So until you see potential for your own success, nobody else will believe in you either, which is why I state that you are the problem. You are the reason why you're broke. You are the reason why you're homeless. You're the reason why you can't get girls. You're the reason why you're lame. You're the reason why you're addicted to social media. You are the reason for everything, bro. Now, the quicker you grasp onto this concept, the quicker you can start to develop in life. Like I stated in video one, the very first step to overcoming any problem is accepting that you have a problem to begin with, which is why I say acknowledgement is the first step to fulfillment. It's okay to be the problem, though, bro. See, because that also means that you are the solution. Understand what I'm saying? When you are the problem, you will start to learn, oh, dang, I'm the only person that can fix this. No, it's not your ex-girlfriend who broke your heart. No, it's not your mom and dad's fault because they didn't have to together when they had you. Listen, bro, everybody has a sob story. Think about it like this. You have the Joker and you have Superman. Superman lost his parents, but he chose to utilize his pain and his suffrage to save people. The Joker, I don't know his story, but I know he has some type of sob story as well. Things went wrong for him. Guess what he chose to do? To torture the world. He chose to use his circumstances and become a victim. Superman chose to utilize his negative circumstances and become a victor. And this is another thing that I always like to mention. Batman, sorry. It's another thing I always like to mention, bro. Reality is all based off perception, bro. It's however you want to perceive the situation. I know guys who went through a heartbreak and came out 10 times more successful than they were before the relationship. I also know dudes who went through a heartbreak and just became straight bums. Listen, whether you believe you're right or you're wrong, you're correct. That's one of the greatest quotes I've ever heard in my life. There's a man who thinks he's right, and there's a man who thinks he's wrong. Both men are correct. This means that you cure your own reality. This means that you get to choose whether or not you want to be successful. And this is a question I always ask everybody, bro. If you get to choose to be successful, or be a bum, why would you choose to be a bum? Why? It literally makes no sense. Now, before we get more into this video, a lot of y'all may be wondering, who is this guy to tell us what we should be doing in our lives? What has he gone through? Easy for you to say, June, I see you're staying in this nice apartment. You probably have a bunch of beautiful women. You're fit. You got money, this, that, and the third. Listen, bro, I am a section eight baby. I'm not just any Section 8 baby, bro. I am a Section 8 immigrant baby, bro. This means I came from nothing, gang. I grew up in South Dallas, bro, in the worst apartments. I'm talking, I'm going to sleep. There's roaches on my arms, bro. And I thought it was so normal because that's what everybody around me was going through as well. And now I'm here in life. I'm in a position where I'm making decisions whether I want to invest my money or go splurge it. And sometimes I get stressed out about it, but then I take a step back and realize, well, I'm so blessed to even have this opportunity to have these thoughts of thinking what I want to do with the extra money that I have available to myself. See, because there's people out there who, state, who live in a state of lack. But what differentiates me and all the successful people that I know from the people who are in a state of lack is us successors perceive everything as an abundant opportunity. Failures perceive everything as a potential risk. 
guess what? We're both correct. See, because if I take in my world and the people around me, how we think is if I take 11 shots, at least one's going to go in. But the people who think with scarcity, the people who think with fear, they think, dang, if I take one shot and that one shot doesn't go in, it's over for me. Yeah, but you forgetting you have 10 more shots, game. You have so much more opportunity to just keep taking risks. And it's not risks. It's potential wins. I don't perceive it as a potential loss. I perceive it as a potential win. Go big or go home, baby. Go big or go home. Another thing I want to talk about is people having themselves surrounded around losers, bro. Y'all be having yourselves, you know, infiltrated and, 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 and immersed with other people who have negative mindsets. And I know that a lot of y'all aren't actually bums. A lot of y'all want to see success. A lot of y'all want to progress in life. But for some weird reason, you surround yourself around people who have the counter objective. You're not understanding that energy is radiating. This means that whoever you surround yourself with is going to give you a direct correlation to your future. They're a reflection of whatever you're going to be. See, because when energy radiates, however that person is feeling subconsciously in their heart, there's going to be a percentage of that energy that's going to seep into your world. It's called spiritual divinity, bro. Our spirits all align. We are all one. We're all children of the most high. So if you have the spirit that's vibrating in a low vibrational state and you're in a high vibrational state, there's going to be a place where we meet to neutralize the states. Correct. But think about it. If he's in a low vibrational state, he's got to come up to meet you. If you're in a high vibrational state, what do you got to do? You got to come down, bro. And that's what's holding you back. You got to go around people who are in a higher vibrational state who can pull you up. See, because there's there's polarity with these things, guys. It's science, right? And energy is magnetic. So you can either attract or retract. I choose to retract all negative energy, bro. If I'm ever around somebody who tell me something's not attainable, gang, you cut off, bro. On my mama, you cut off. If I got a shorty who around me and she like, yeah, I just want to go out. I want to club. I, I, I want to have fun. You go do that. But I have a greater purpose. And you may perceive that purpose to be great for yourself. That's cool. That's not the purpose that I want to be on. We're not on the same path. And I don't hate you for that. I actually love you for deciding to do what you want to do. But I would hate for my energy to have to radiate down and digress so I can meet your needs. Understand what I'm saying? And this is not just relationally. This, this doesn't have to be romantically. This could be platonic. This could be family. This can be business. If you are in a place that you are not aligned with, you will never see progression. If you are not a place, if you are not in a place where you are not spiritually aligned, you will never see progression. This is why a lot of y'all can't get better jobs. This is why a lot of y'all can't see promotions at your workplaces. It's not because you're not good. It's not because you're not better than the next man. It's because it's not meant for you. It's because that place, there's somewhere in your mind where you know you don't want to be there. That's why you're not working hard. If you ever catch yourself feeling lackadaisical, you catch yourself feeling as if you're you're in a state of 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 stagnation. You're in a state of of lack of progression. You have to take a step back and say, am I truly satisfied with what I'm doing? Am I truly, you know, all in on this purpose? Am I even on my purpose game? Those are the questions you got to ask yourself, bro, when you see that things are not going right. And get this through your head too, bro. Shit gonna go wrong, bro. <laughs> That's something that a lot of y'all don't really understand when it comes to pursuing a goal or a purpose. The ship is going to shake. It doesn't mean it's going to sink. You know, Christ states, oh, ye a little faith. When the sailors have this lack of faith, when they start to speak as if they are already failing, they are already sinking. See, the issue with that is they're speaking with a state of lack. 
See, but what you don't understand is Christ has the same abilities as us. We have the exact same capabilities. So the same way the first thing that Christ did, he walked off and he, he, he hushed the storm. He told the storm to stop and it halted. It listened to his voice. Why? Because he believed he had the capability to do so. Whatever it is you have on your path, there are going to be hardships. There's going to be times where things are not going to go as expected. I don't even like utilizing the word right because there's no such thing as things going right. Things are not going to go as expected. And that's okay. You must step out and say, hush, be quiet. You will align with me. You will listen to me. My purpose will continue to progress and we'll get back on path. And then get back to grinding, bro. That's all you can do. And I promise you, as long as you have a good